All right, hey everybody, we're back in Fate of the World again. And unlike last time where I made just kind of a, uh, a guide on how to play the game, this time I actually legit am going to play the game. I'm going to play completely through the uh, most realistic uh, mode, which I feel is Fuel Crisis. But by all means, if you've never seen or played Fate of the World before, or didn't see the guide I made to playing Fate of the World, you should go see the guide I made to playing Fate of the World. A uh, card should appear with a link to that. Uh, also be a link in the description and everything. Yeah, in, in that one, I kind of just, uh, I kind of simulated how I think reality is going to go, which means I didn't actually make a lot of uh, intelligent decisions because humanity doesn't really make intelligent decisions. Uh, however, in this one I will, because uh, this time I actually am going to play the game, and I'm actually going to try to save civilization somewhat. All right, so first thing, first thing we gotta do, lock down that uh, electric transportation, because oil peaks right away, so we gotta we gotta crush our, we gotta get rid of our oil demand as quick as we possibly can. And uh, if you hear any uh, loud kind of scraping noises, I apologize uh, about those. I can't really do anything about that. That is uh, the snow plowing crew outside. They uh, they haven't made it up to uh, to the street right outside of the building I live in yet, but they probably will because it's been snowing all day. So. Middle East, uh, yeah, Middle East is, uh, always unstable, so get us that political office, get the, uh, welfare office, because you got to, uh, you got to get, uh, the education programs and everything, and once you get everybody educated in the, uh, the undereducated regions and you get everybody jobs, then the, uh, the birth rates drop really quick, which helps you out a lot. Uh, China. Yeah, you'll n probably end up noticing the one place I'm likely not going to honestly try that hard to help is India. And I, I do apologize if anyone ever watches this from India, but in the game in particular, uh, I India, you just can't save it. It always, it always collapses. It always implodes. There's almost nothing you can do. All right, let's see. Uh, yeah, you guys take the longest to get rid of your coal, so I'll go ahead and do that. Anything else I want to do here? Go ahead and get you guys a tech office. Russia. Yeah, unfortunately, Russia needs one too, even though Russia already has technology. North America gets regional energy office. Europe. Oh, yeah. I always forget at the start of everything. I always forget that I can just tax Europe to uh, uh, to get myself more money. And you guys are used to it over there anyways, right? China. Do I want to get one more for China? Uh... The Middle East. No, I'll go ahead and get one more for China. I'll get, uh, they need a tech office. All right, 2025, here we come. Oil peaks, yep, like always. Oh yeah, now I actually, that I'm actually gonna go all the way to uh, the ending date. I actually am gonna have to uh, try to get a grip on global warming, but that's easy to do. You can kind of uh, you can kind of cheat basically once you uh, once you unlock the uh, climate engineering stuff, and you can just uh, spray aerosols all throughout the atmosphere. All right, let's uh, have the U.S. just frack some more shale, start uh, tearing into the uh, the carriage and cliffs in Colorado, and have the Canadians just ramp the tar sands up into oblivion. Oil production problem solved. Alright. Uh, when would Russia get this? 
35, yeah. Yeah, definitely need that now. There you go. Okay, Middle East, volatile, of course. Let's uh, send in a military occupation. We need to, housing relief? You guys are already overcrowded? Education, uh, advanced drilling, get your economy back up and running. China, you guys need anything? Oh, yeah. All right, sure, go ahead and give you an environmental office. And Latin America. Let's see. Yeah, that actually does make a lot of sense. Uh, it should be China that already has uh, the, the option to uh, electrify ground transportation. Because uh, that that's not really happening in in Latin America. That's but it's a but China's making huge like uh, steps towards that. So I think someone honestly might have accidentally uh, like input Latin America when they were supposed to input China into like the uh, the programming list of regions that start out with uh, electrified ground transport as an option. But ultimately, uh, it doesn't matter because. What's done is already done. Tech office. Anything else I need? Oh, yeah. Uh, they need the higher education thing. Uh, the poor Middle East. What do I want to do? All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of your overcrowding, I guess. That usually is done in one turn. All right, Russia needs an energy office. Europe, uh, get your eco office so I can try to keep people from getting killed by environmental impacts 2030 natural gas peaks or does it oh wow it doesn't it usually almost always does all right let's see latin america wow that gave me a plus hard already higher education program I get uh, and smart grids. So no, wrong, wrong thing. Seventy-five years till you get the advanced drilling. Okay, yeah, definitely give that to you now. You're still very unstable. Of course you are, Middle East. Thank you for trying so hard. Let's improve your transportation system, too, and uh, give you smart grids help balance your electricity load since you guys consume an awful lot of it with uh, your especially with your excessive uh, summer energy demands trying to cool all your houses oh and you're definitely gonna need uh, water management as well uh, dry year smog China, water management, and uh, some erosion protection as well. And Europe definitely needs uh, coastal defenses. Russia. I'm going to go ahead and have Russia expand its natural gas production now. That might actually keep it from peaking for a little bit. And I think, I think going to coal-free industry might alleviate some of the smog problem, but I'm not sure. Uh, they definitely need uh, 
the uh, the healthcare thing because they always complain about that. Blah blah blah. Yep, they're complaining. All right, uh, gonna go ahead and give you up a break from the endless taxes of my evil taxing regime. Wait, are they complaining about anything? Oh, of course, they're complaining about the tax. Well, the tax is gone, so be happy, people. And, and pretty sure Europe already has, like, high water uh, conservation standards anyway, so we'll throw that in there. Middle East. Oh, yeah, all right. Uh, that's taken care of. What else do I need to hit up? Uh, oh, yeah, Northern Africa. Always, uh gets unstable real fast. Chaotic, oh yes. Need a political office so that I can uh, declare martial law next time. Although uh, it's it's kind of funny because you know on the card to declare martial law in Northern Africa the uh, the soldiers are white and uh, you know wearing uh, Western style military uniforms and body armor so it's uh, it's martial law all right it just isn't being declared by uh, the government of any nations that are actually in Northern Africa. Wait, can I tax the U.S.? Ooh, excellent. Okay. Uh, tax the... I get more money. I'll tax the U.S., get some money. Okay. And uh, instantly put back my thing to keep expanding their oil production. So do I want to do anything else anywhere else? Get another card for Northern Africa, probably. They're going to need uh, some water management, most likely. Okay. Well, here we go. 2035. All right. Uh, keeping the impact death toll low. Instability, CCS. All right. Let's go. Go, go, go. Come on. All right, Northern Africa, wow, I'm surprised. Usually they like attack my representatives. Martial law. All right, I already know what they're complaining about, but I just wanna see. Wow, they're actually not complaining about any of their actual problems. They're just complaining about complaining. Well, I'll give them some water management, definitely. And uh, education. Oh, the Middle East education is complete, so let's add the higher education program. And give them water management, because you always need that one way or another. Oh, and they're definitely getting CCS, so they can immediately implement that. All right, Russia. Oh, poor Russia. What to do? Well, we'll give them some free health care, but uh, they continually uh, they continually start getting a bit unstable. So I have to get the political office card so that, you know, Putin can declare martial law. All right, China. What do we want to do in China? Uh, don't know if I want to do anything. Oh, yeah, get them smart grids, definitely. That'll help. Anything in North America? Looks like almost everyone's done with the uh, electric transport. Uh, let's start getting North America some environmental protection. What about Europe? We'll get you some more storm protection. Uh, get you some... Uh, I guess we'll toss in some... Uh, some fire protection too. I know you guys have some problems with that. And let's see. We'll get rid of coal in Europe too, I guess. Europe's usually pretty anti-coal. Latin America. Unstable? What are you unstable about? I'm giving you guys everything you want. Give you better transportation. How about that? You definitely need to uh, finally, you need to finally fix that uh, that roadway gap at the very south end of Panama. It's like a in, impassable marsh and it's controlled by like multiple guerrilla groups. So 
No one's ever really been able to build roads there and stuff. Are you complaining about anything specific? Dry year? Yeah, you're definitely going to need an eco office. How about China? Do I want to do anything else to China? Uh, oh, yeah, China's going to have problems with the rising sea levels too. So we'll give them some defenses against that. And uh, I guess, yeah, Russia... I'm pretty sure Russia actually has wildfire problems already. So I'll give you an office for that. Okay. Uh, Indonesia. Let's get into Indonesia. All right, Indonesia will definitely need uh, the education program thing. And uh, what else do I want to give to Indonesia? I don't know. Um, we'll just throw in a tech office, just for the sake of it. All right, 2040, here we come. Warming, uh, not going any faster or slower. Fourth gen nuclear reactors, excellent. I don't care who likes me and how much they like me or don't like me. Nobody likes me anyways. All right, uh, let's see. Americans can't stand taxes, so I'll get rid of the taxes so that you guys won't complain too much. All right, get you. Uh, the U.S. has a lot of area that's going to be affected by sea level rise, so you definitely need that. And definitely need the... Uh, water management, especially once the Ogallala Aquifer under the uh, Great Plains gets depleted. Ooh, wow. We have a clean slate in Latin America. All right, let's get some erosion defenses. Let's get some flood defenses. Uh, give you smart grids, I guess. And, uh, all right, don't need anything else from there. Do you need an energy office? I think you will. Yeah, because you have uh, you have all that heavy oil under uh, Venezuela. All right, the Middle East. Yes, the Middle East is finally even. All right, uh, what do I want to do for you? Um, yeah, we'll give you, I guess, erosion defenses and uh, drought protection. Do you need anything else? No. Tech office, uh, nuclear reactors. Not gonna give that to you yet. Uh, CCS. Oh yeah, deploy CCS. All right, higher education program. Uh, definitely get the advanced drilling, uh, especially since Indonesia can get a lot of geothermal power. I think China should be able to do electric ground transport now. Yes, there we go. Destroy China's oil demand. All right, you guys come still complaining about anything? Smog, okay. Smog, blah, blah, blah. Oops. Well, I mean, I'm getting rid of, uh, I'm, I'm getting rid of your, uh, your coal industry, so it should help. Blah, blah, blah. CCS, wait. You need CCS 30 years to get nuclear and then to get the... Okay, yeah. All right, not going to deploy it in China, but they still need to get it. Russia, are you volatile? Of course you are. I'm sorry, my Russian friends, but looks like Putin's going to declare martial law. Anything? Oh, yeah. Get you your uh, wildfire defenses. You need those. And we'll get uh, Europe some permanent adaptation to sea level rise. Nor Northern Africa. All right, North Africa needs a tech office. Needs uh, definitely get some better transportation. Uh, also give them another uh, another card. And. Anything else? Uh, unstable, but I don't necessarily want to waste a military occupation on you, though. 
Er, I guess uh, let's just the job sharing's cheap. We'll throw that in there for a second. Anything else for Europe? And I guess I'll give you some more uh, job defenses. And I know you have a. Uh, high water standards and stuff already so I'll just give you enhanced water infrastructure Southeast Asia get another representative anything else we can do not there uh, yeah I'll probably definitely get you an eco office you'll need that alright 2045 here we come oh no the methane uh, oh, and my death toll is starting to climb. We definitely need the uh, the aerosols. Oh yeah, India's collapsing already. Yeah, sorry, India, you would be you would be collapsing even if I even if I was trying to help you. Okay, give the U.S. some more coastal defense. Anything else you're missing? Uh. Wait, what are you complaining about? Wildfires? Oh, yeah, totally forgot about the wildfires. Uh, wildfire defenses, there you go. Latin America, you complain about anything specific? Very unstable, what? General strike? So, you're all positive and happy, but you're still complaining. You see, guys, this, this is what it's like trying to be some kind of leader. Okay, you you can never you can never make everyone happy. Everyone always complains about everything. All right, uh, tech. Uh, Northern Africa. How about you? What do you got? Uh, job sharing run its course. Uh, advanced drilling. Anything else? else there no uh, enhanced water uh, yeah I'll go ahead and give that to you should probably go ahead and give that to the Middle East too there you go all right Southeast Asia yeah I didn't even have to use military occupation thank you Southeast Asia all right uh, storm and flood defenses You need anything else? Transport efficiency, apparently, we'll just toss that in. Okay, China. Oh, China, yeah, China builds a lot of nuclear reactors nowadays, so we'll give you fourth gen. Russia. What do you want, Russia? I'll give you more wildfire defenses. How about that? Is that good? Er. Anything else for Russia? Yeah, we'll give you a coal-free industry. Give rid of your smog, I guess. Europe. How about you, Europe? I'm going to tax you again, Europe. How about that? <laughs> sorry, sorry, guys, but uh, I got a adaptation to heat and droughts. Let's get that in there. Latin America. Very unstable. Right. Give you some uh, water management. There we go. Is missing anything? No. Uh, we're going to expand your oil production. That way, uh, we can avoid having another peak, at least not at least in the uh, the imminent future. And oh, wait! Oh, that's what I need to do. Uh, protect the Amazon. Yes. Southeast Asia. Yes. You guys have massive forests. Protect the uh, the rainforests. Right, Middle East. Yes, they can electrify their ground transport now. Finally. There we go. All right, we got it. 2050, guys. Halfway through the century. Ooh, resource demand problems. Uh, let's see. But coal hasn't even peaked. All right, please, please tell... Well, the death toll is going down, at least. Please tell me that we're getting the aerosols soon. Yes! Thank you, Father in Heaven. We have the aerosols. We have them. Uh, well, may not have them yet, I guess. The aerosols, 10 years. Wow. 
Wow, like the one thing the U.S. doesn't immediately have. 32.5 years. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're actually going to need to get a tech office for Europe so Europe can skip uh, that 32 year wait. The U.S. can wait. Uh, the U.S. can wait 10 years. That's all right. But uh, Europe, I'm, I'm not having them wait 32 years to be able to start pumping out aerosols. Mm -hmm. right. Middle East, yes, get those aerosols, please. All right, uh, I'll give you some more drought defense. North Africa, very unstable. What do you want from me? Higher education. Uh, give you smart grids, help balance your power loads. Get rid of coal use. Oh, the U.S. has like an infinite amount of coal. Start mining some more coal. What? Okay, yeah, I've run into a problem with this. I am not positive. Like, th there's absolutely no way that it actually is 94% undersupplied. So I actually think this is like a glitch where it's saying uh, we're all, we only have 94% of the amount that we need. Be because there's literally no way it would be at that much of a uh, of a gap already. And I thought the U.S. already uh, already broke away from coal. Oh no, I never actually did the uh, coal-free industry thing. Okay, well I have to do that. Latin America, why are you volatile? Uh, stop causing me problems, please. All right, uh, coal free industry for you too, I guess, and political office, because I'm going to have to launch an occupation. South Asia, oh, yeah, South Asia actually does still use a lot of coal in their uh, industrial furnaces. They need to get rid of that. Russia, Russia already got rid of theirs. Okay, well. That solves quite a few problems. And uh, now we'll give you some uh, some flood defenses. You need those. China. How's it going, China? What you doing? Uh, protect your coast some more, I guess. And you guys are already coal-free. I know that. Uh, definitely get you the aerosols unless how soon will you get them on your own 95 years yes you're definitely getting those now okay um, Europe well I'm out of money and kind of out of stuff I guess all right 2055 here we come all right still have a bit of a supply demand issue the warming starting to drop a little bit Two degrees, uranium production. All right, I have not had a double digit death toll yet. I don't care how much everybody likes me or doesn't. I'm not here to be your friend. I'm here to help you survive. All right, the US got rid of uh, its coal industry already and cannot yet uh, do the aerosols. One more turn. Europe needs uh, to get the aerosols. China now has them. All right. China is going to start pumping those out. China's going to stabilize this climate. Give you some more draft defenses. Give you some more water infrastructure. All right. Uh, oh, you went from volatile to very unstable. Southeast Asia. Thank you. That is excellent. I'll give you some more storm defenses. The Middle East. Uh, get you on coal-free industry. Uh, deploy. Oh yes, Middle East will start cranking those out too. North Africa. Uh, you can't electrify your ground transport yet. But you're very unstable. What's wrong with you? Guess I'll just get you some drought protection, maybe. Uh, do you need any tech? 
let's see if you wow centuries till you get any of these advancements yeah you definitely need these all right i'll get you the biofuels one since that lets you get the uh genetically enhanced crop yields russia's gone volatile okay martial law guys i'm sorry but you guys you got to you got to stop this get you some more flood defenses all right, you're coal free already. What to do for you that you don't already have? Uh, you can expand coal production. Well, I need to see what I can do with the rest of my money first, though. U.S. Need anything? Uh, give you some more drought protection, I guess. South America, oh yeah, all right, uh, so the US is gonna invade Venezuela and uh, stabilize the place, since apparently that's necessary now. And anything else you guys need? Doesn't look like it. Give you some more drought protection then. Okay, oh, here we go, 2060. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. The warming uh, forecast is starting to drop now that we're pumping out those aerosols. Ooh, hmm, greatly exceeding supply. Well then, coal production peaks. Okay, uh, we can. Oh, I didn't even see my death toll. Well, we can fix uh, that production peak. Don't worry about that, because somebody has plenty of coal as well. Russia, expand that coal production. Get to it. All right, uh, Russia, I want to give you smart grids and stuff. However, the thing is, uh, I only have so much money I can spend. Southeast Asia still can't get electric vehicles. Uh, do you need jobs? Yeah, you probably need jobs. I'll just give you some jobs. How about that? All right, the US, start cranking out those aerosols. We need this atmosphere under control. Okay, and yeah, again, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you're hearing the noises. You, uh, I, I just heard them outside now. They're uh, sounds like they're starting to plow the snow, probably. Add, give you some uh, permanent adaptation to uh, storms and stuff. Europe, what about Europe? Do Europe need anything? Oh yeah, I'm taxing you. You guys are probably sick of that, aren't you? Well, that's too bad. Okay, I'm gonna hold off on having Europe use the aerosols. I wanna see what we can get without having to have them start cranking them out. Russia. All right, uh, are you complaining about anything specific? Gas drilling, contaminating the water table. Oh, well, water management program. Can fix that. That fixes both uh, water usage problems and water toxicity problems and we'll give you some permanent adaptation to uh to wildfires china anything specific for china uh not sure does china need anything specific uh how are you on your advancement in here? 60, yeah, yeah, you definitely. Go ahead and give you the biofuels one so you can get the uh, enhanced crops. Because once, once you can protect everybody's food yields and uh, you can ba and you basically can protect everybody from starving, everyone, you know, suddenly likes you. Northern Africa, give you some uh, more drought and soil erosion protection. Society, you need anything? I uh, already gave you maximum uh, water protection, I guess. Anything else I can do for you? Uh, I think you need CCS to get uh, some of the more advanced stuff anyways, so we'll give you that. All right, Latin America is only unstable now instead of volatile. 
Alright, do you guys need anything else? Uh, I think you got a coal free industry. Uh, let's see. Alright, I'll go ahead and give you the biofuels so that you can get the enhanced crops. Is there anyone who oh, is there anyone who has not gotten the smart grids yet? That helps with the energy balance. Southeast Asia has not gotten the smart grids. All right, I'm going to skip the job sharing and give you the smart grids instead. All right, anything we can do with the Middle East, I guess. We'll toss job sharing in there just to make you guys like me a little bit more. Okay, 2065, here we go. Yes, there we go. Look at those numbers drop. Well, that's what you get with the aerosols. All right, uh, man, how are we still having that much of a supply gap? Both Russia and the U.S. are cranking out more coal than you could possibly ever dream of. Energy demand, absence, and whoa, ho, ho. Okay, now everybody's dying. I've been banned from Japan, oh well. Oh yeah, I usually don't touch Japan either just because uh, Japan has such a tiny impact on uh, a lot of the uh, the issues and the resource stuff that you try to deal with in the game. So actually like going into Japan and trying to change things, it doesn't really have that much of an effect. All right, what do we got in Russia? Nuclear proliferation, blah, blah, blah. Wow, Russia's all green, I'm surprised. All right, Russia, do you want anything else? Or need anything else, I guess? I can give you better water infrastructure. I'll do that for the moment, unless I find I need to undo that so I'll have more money to spend. All right, Middle East. You guys want to do anything special? Oh, yes, finally. Thank you. You guys can electrify your ground transport. Electrify your ground transport. You guys already have the, uh, the smart grids. Latin America, still very unstable. Okay. Let's see, what can we do for you? Uh, oh, wait, wait, I forgot. Can, oh, they don't have an energy office. What about in the US? US has an energy office. What are you getting unstable over? Storms, austerity. Solution. All right. Okay. So uh, we'll cut the aerosols for one round. And how much is the U.S. relying on coal for its electricity in this thing? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. So we're going to decline the use of coal as a power source but uh, still mine a bunch of it and export it, try to rebalance the world. Okay. North Africa, tech, energy, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what do you need to, okay, you'll get high yield crops as soon as they're ready. You're gonna, oh, you're already gonna get fourth gen nuclear, like, right next uh, next turn anyways. So you need the aerosols, well, to get the higher things, but I'm not actually gonna give them to you. So let's see. I don't know if you guys get floods and storms a lot, but I'll just give you those anyways, just to make you a little happy. Southeast Asia. Can you guys electrify your transport yet? No, not yet. Okay. Uh, we'll give you a water management system. That usually makes people happy. Job sharing? No, sorry, not this time. Yeah, the biofuels, because you guys will definitely need those enhanced crops. China, what you doing? Ooh, coal shortage. All right. Well. 
This was coming eventually. We're going to have to decline your use of coal power. Although, they would do that on their own. But you kind of have to push people sometimes. Okay. Uh, permanent adaptation. Let's see this. Oh. Get another slot in the U.S. and give you some permanent adaptation to the sea level rise. Ooh, I don't know if you hear that, but there's police sirens in the background. Uh, in, in real life, for me. So they're somewhere out there. Alright, 2070. Ooh, someone's in trouble. Okay, India's back in the game. Which means I have access to their money again. Excellent. Oh, thank you, Father in Heaven. All right, it's not that much more because uh, I'm already spending quite a bit of money doing stuff all over the place. All right, stable, Middle East is stable, restrained. Wait, can I tax the Middle East? No, not yet. You can eventually, though. Wait, didn't I get you? Oh, no, I didn't. All right, the Middle East, oh, yes, definitely. Solar potential in the Middle East, so we'll get you the uh, photovoltaic cells. North Africa. Acquire the high yield crops. Yes. Definitely. Preserve the population. And uh, not going to give you guys anything else from there for the moment. High yield crops. Wait, when would you get them? Latin America. 15 years. Uh... I'm going to have you wait. Sorry. That 15 years is like just on the fringe of me not really being willing to uh to pay. Stable climate brings storms. Oh, well, well, I kind of already have you on permanent storm adaptation anyways. There's not really that much I can do for that. What about other tech? Five years, 36 years. Okay. So, we'll, we'll give you the aerosols at least. That'll give you a tech jump. South Asia. Try to get a little bit faster. Oops. South Asia, come on. There we go. You guys are stable. I don't think you'd get the crops for a while. 13.5 years? Okay, yeah, you're waiting for that. I'm going to make you wait. Um. Yeah, you guys definitely need that. So I'll give you the CCS, and uh, darn, what else? I guess I'll just toss some erosion protection on there while I'm at it. Russia, are you guys okay? Can I tax you? No, apparently not. Uh, high yield crops, wait, are you complaining about anything? Oh. I guess you need to decline your... Oh, wait, what? I thought I was in Russia. There we go. Okay. Russia. Uh, can you... I don't think you can get them yet. No, not yet. What are you complaining about? Gas drilling, El Nino... Okay. Well, I've already gotten you all the uh, all the heat adaptation I can give you, and uh, all the uh, the water management stuff. Oh wait, I can tax you. Thank you, Russia. You guys are just wonderful. All right. I guess I'll stop the gas thing. I'll stop contaminating your water table. And what I want to do instead. Uh, I guess I'll give you some... How long would it take you to get the photovoltaic cells? 22 years? Uh, man, that's like the absolute fringe of what I would be willing to spend money for, which means I'm not going to spend money for it. Europe. All right, what to do for you guys? Wait, when would you get the crops? Eight years, 13 years for the photovoltaic cells? Yeah, I'm not paying for anything for you. 
Sorry, Europe. You guys can wait. Aerosols. Um. Do I want to have Europe do that? Uh. Yeah, we'll have Europe do it for one round. North Africa. Anything for you guys? More tech. More uh, stuff I can do? No, not really. Wait, can you electrify your transport yet? No, you can't. Tech, all right, when will you get specific things? 15, 450. Uh, but do you actually need the aerosols? That's the thing. High yield crops, definitely. Guess I'll just give you some more coastal flood defenses. How about that? North America, still unstable a bit. Permanent adaptation, Latin America. Very unstable. Interesting. All right. Uh, oh, wait, Northern Africa. Still should do more for you. Permanent adaptation to heat and drought. There you go. Does China actually want anything? Did I succeed? There we go. Uh, decline coal power. That's what we wanted to do. Do you need either of these? I think you do. The crops, 85 years, yes. China definitely needs that now. Okay. There we go. 2075. Still outpacing supply. Whoa! That's going up a little too fast. Okay. Uh... Well, we're down from triple digits in the death toll. Now we're only at double digits. Okay. So, we clearly need to pump out some more aerosols. Get some more people in on this. Is China pumping them out? Yes, China is definitely pumping out those aerosols. Okay. China's going to get uh, high-yield crops in order to protect their... Uh, their food supply. Okay, China no longer has any uh, coal issues. So, what are we going to do for China? Uh, I guess get you the concentrated uh, photovoltaic cells. Latin America. Very unstable. What is wrong with you people? Is, what? Protesting about what? About what? Oh, I'm not... Oh, I'm not raising your quality of life, apparently. What do you What do you want? Do you want free health care? There you go. How about that? You satisfied? North Africa. Stable. Excellent. High yield crops. Okay. Uh, can you electrify your ground transport? No, still not yet. Anything, you guys, free health care, probably you want it. Are you complaining about anything specific? Water stress? I've already given you all the water management you could dream of, though. How are you experiencing water stress? The high-yield crops will take care of that. Uh, I'm not going to give you free health care yet. I'm not just going to hand that out to everybody. The Middle East is stable. Excellent. Uh, oh, I never gave you storm and flood defenses, just because I usually don't think of floods happening in a desert. But, whatever. Uh, Middle East. You're deploying aerosols. Good. You complained about anything. Come on. Flood. Okay, well, you're complaining about floods, so definitely uh, need to get you that. Tech. Where are you, where are you on tech advancement? Oh, yeah. I've been neglecting you guys a little bit. Okay. Give you those uh, biofuels so you can get the advanced crops. Southeast Asia. What to do for you? Uh, too many years. 90 years for the advanced crops. Yes, you definitely need them now. Okay. Uh, give you some more erosion protection, I guess. 
Russia, my new taxed people. Oh, wait, you're not actually paying the tax. Interesting. <laughs> Newsflash, guys, apparently Russians will, uh, Russians will just refuse to pay taxes after, like, one turn. What are you still complaining about, though? The taxes, decreased... I've given you water management, though. Man, these impacts are getting bad. Aerosols. Ugh, I can't really do too much for that, though. Um. Hmm. Aerosols. Am I still taxing Europe? Wow, I'm still getting... I'm still gaining hearts, even though I'm taxing Europe. Uh, how's the U.S. doing? Unstable? All right, gotten rid of coal power. Can I tax you while you're unstable? No, apparently not. All right, well, you're going to deploy the sulfates. We're going to have to cut off your coal production to do it. But deploy those sulfuric aerosols. What's China up to? High-yield crops, sulfuric aerosols, photovoltaic cells. South Asia. Transport efficiency. Protection. High-yield crops. Erosion. North Africa. Okay. Let's see. Russia. Give you some permanent adaptation to floods. How about that? Doesn't look like there's that much more I can afford to do. Okay. Well, 2080. Here we come. There we go. Now we got that uh, temperature back under control. South Africa is back. Half a meter of sea level rise. Gas production peaks. Ooh, yeah, gas production peaks. I gotta take care of that. Oh no, I've been banned from India again. I have no idea what their population is at right now. I have no idea what their population is at right now. They probably got like three billion people packing in there. Ooh, the U.S. is very unstable. Uh, oops. I'll give you some high yield crops, I guess. What are you complaining about, though? Seriously? Seriously, you're you're basically just complaining. For the sake of complaining, okay. Still experiencing water stress. Uh, oh yeah, no, we're not abandoning the high yield crops. You guys are definitely keeping those. Tech. Let's see. Uh, oh yeah, North Africa. You guys got a lot of sun, don't you? We'll give you some uh, photovoltaic cells. Some free healthcare. How about that? Russia. What do you guys want there in Russia? Still not letting me tax you, but... Okay. Um... Do you complain about anything specific? Well, if lack of water is still a problem, even after all this, you definitely need the uh, high-yield crops. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to make you wait, because 12 years... That's, that's not enough to justify spending to uh, get it that early. How about South Asia? All right, uh, South Asia definitely can uh, get a lot of... South Asia definitely can get a lot of uh, ocean current uh, energy from the uh, super tensile materials, so I'll toss that out to you guys. Can't tax them, though. Uh, anything I want to give you in particular? I guess job sharing, maybe. Just make you a little bit happier. How's the Middle East doing? Can I tax you? Darn. Please. Come on, guys. Let me tax you. I don't know. Especially, especially you guys, like Kuwait, uh, Dubai and everything. You guys have a lot of money. You can share some, right? Uh, let's see. High yield crops, how far are you from them? 12 years, now you're gonna wait. Super tensile materials, 51 years. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll get those for you now. Unless there's other stuff I can do. I guess it could be better flood defenses, maybe. 
since you do get floods in the desert, apparently. China. Restrictive. Anything I can do for you? Restrictive probably means you won't let me tax you. Of course it does. Okay. Uh, definitely not abandoning the high yield crops. Um, super tensile materials. How far are you from them? 195 years. Okay. Well, th you're getting them. Hey, Russia. How's it going? Uh, no. All right. Europe is now even with me. Still, uh, still willingly paying the tax. Just can't, uh, can't quite... Uh, very unstable. Man, why why are you so unstable, U.S.? All right, someone's going to have to ramp up gas production. Russia. Hey, Russia. Uh, we need some more natural gas, and I know you guys have a lot, so yeah. Help the world out a bit, won't you? Anything else? I do anything else for anybody else? I don't think North Africa can electrify their transportation yet. No, definitely not. Uh, medical welfare program. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that, and instead, I'm going to get a regional energy office because North Africa has a lot, and I mean a lot, of uh, shale gas trapped under it. yield crops. Alright, that's about all I can do with the money that I have. 2085. Okay. Man, coal is still... Man, we are still overshooting with coal. But uh, we have the warming under control. Japan, yes. Japan's back. Japan gives me a lot of money. Oh, man. People are seriously dying. That that has to be in the regions that I'm I'm not actually active in. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot. There's massive conflict in South Africa, and India's collapsed into famine and civil war. That's where that death toll is coming from. Okay. I thought I was a, uh, I, I thought I was a uh, failing. <laughs> well, I mean I kind of am, but what can you do? Uh, enhanced water infrastructure for North America, I guess. Can North Africa get electric transport yet? No, not yet. Okay, definitely not abandoning the high yield crops. Er, okay, you guys expand your natural gas production since you have all that shale gas. Russia, are you complaining about your water table? Oh, you're not? Okay, well, in that case, actually, North Africa, don't expand your natural gas production. Once Russia starts complaining, then you can expand it. The Middle East. Blah, blah, blah. What you got for me? Uh, not sure what to really do here. Twenty six, twenty three high yield crops. Yeah, I'll go ahead and give you those now. And uh, I guess I'll, I guess I'll give you permanent adaptation to heat effects. South Asia, what can we do in South Asia? Very stable. Can I tax you? No, of course not. Okay. Uh, what to do? What to do? What do you guys want, at least? What are you complaining about? Urban sprawl. Tensile materials. You're gonna get that on your own. You're... Okay, you need help to get the aerosols. Okay, so there you go. You have those now. And... High yield crops. Okay. Yes, you need high yield crops. Get you those. China. Hi, China. How's it going? 
Can I tax you, China? No. Why won't anybody let me tax them? What do you want? Or what are you complaining about? Energy. Ooh, man. Wait. But you, you went away from coal. How are you back using coal for energy already? Dude, do I actually have to, like, use this card? The renewables card to act... Do I actually have to use the renewable card to force you to, uh, to use renewable energy? Okay, uh... I don't want to waste anything else on you. Unstable. Russia, how are you guys doing? What you guys, uh... What do you want? What do you want? Austerity? No, tech tree. Tech tree. Five years for those. Five years for those. Nine years for those. Wow. There's like no point to me buying any of this tech for you. You're just gonna get it. You're just gonna get it on your own. Hmm. What to do? All right, so North Africa. What do we want to do for you? Water stress, you're still having water stress? How? You have everything. Tech. I think you're like hundreds of years from everything, aren't you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you're a long ways off from almost everything. We'll toss you that. Latin America, how about you? Uh, you guys get a lot of sun. Toss you some photovoltaic cells. Middle, or no, that's Russia. Middle East. Can I do anything else? Russia. Got you the permanent adaptation for both things. 37 billion left to spend. All right, I guess I'll just toss uh, permanent adaptation to floods and storms into China. 2090, we're nearing the end of the century. Still having energy and resource problems. All right, quantum computing. Quantum computing uh, basically makes everyone's economies boom. And everyone doesn't get rich, but everyone gets like, everyone gets well off and uh, happy. Okay. Uh, oh, no. North America is where it was developed. You guys don't need me to get it for you. Uh, you guys, you already have the high yield crops. Guess adaptation to heat and drought. I'll just throw that in there. All right, Latin America. Here you go. You guys get the quantum computing so your economy can expand. Middle East, you guys get quantum computing. Everybody gets quantum computing. Right, do you need anything else though? Oh yeah, high yield crops, there you go. South Asia, how about you? Very stable, can I tax you? No, of course not. Come on people, just let me tax you. It makes things so much easier for me. Quantum computing for you too. China, how are you doing? How is China doing? All right, can't tax you, but uh, acquire quantum computing. Russia, what's up, Russia? We'll give you some quantum computing as well. North Africa. Wait, can you electrify your ground transport yet? Oh, yes, you finally can. Is there anything else I can abandon somewhere to give you guys that? Not sure. At least, CCS, high yield crops, quantum computing, Latin America. Well, we're not going to need that much oil anymore, so I'll just go ahead and aband, abandon your uh, expanded oil production. Give North Africa that electric transport. 
Oh man, we still got to get a grip on this. 2.5 degrees of warming, increased drought risk, global population, advanced turbines. Excellent. All the uh, all these technologies that we actually developed within five years of this game being released in real life. Latin America still unstable. What are you guys? Oops, uh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, uh, Brazil, you have a large air force, right? You can spread those aerosols for us. Anything else for you? Advanced turbines. Yeah, sure. You guys got all that wind up in the Andes Mountains. Russia, very unstable. But why, Russia? Drought risk? Is that what you're complaining about? Uh, cloud 3, 15, 35 years. Uh, all right, uh, not going to touch any of that with you. Uh, oh, wait, the aerosols. You are definitely going to pump out those aerosols, though. Hey, China, how's it going? What are you complaining about? Ooh, uh, Do you guys really... Like, did you go back to coal already when I just left you alone for, like, ten years? Very stable. Does that mean I can tax you? No, of course not. Why would you help me out here, Southeast Asia? Why would you ever do that? Photovoltaic cells. You guys get a lot of sun down there, I think. Yeah, you guys do. Um, Northern Africa. Quantum computing, there you go. Uh, wait, China, do you need quantum computing? Did, did you already get it? I don't know. Oh, you already got it. Well, if your economy still sucks even after getting that, then uh, that's on you. Okay, the Middle East is very unstable. But how? What, what's, what's wrong with you people now? I mean, do, what, what do you want at this point? Do you want free health care? I'll give it to you. All right. Well, pretty late in the game, but, uh, oh, wait, never mind. I was, I was going to buy some, uh, I was actually going to buy some representatives down there, but I can't. I guess I'll finally go into Japan. Ooh, Japan's an anarchy. Well, I guess we have to declare martial law. And no, it can't afford coal-free industry, actually. All right, 2100, 22nd century, here we come. All right, we got a grip on that again. We got the energy, uh, we got the energy uh, uh, excess. We got the energy overshoot back down to only 1%. India is open, Arctic methane, global financial collapse, oh no, that means I have no more uh, money. Wait, China kicked me out? For what? Alright, well, hmm, interesting, I still have 511 billion somehow, even though the global economy collapsed. Oh, martial law. Uh, get another guy back in there. Uh, get you some high-yield crops. Latin America. What's wrong down here? Nothing? Oh. You guys still didn't have the high-yield crops yet? Well, we'll get you some of those. What, uh... What else? Wait, can I tax you? Yes. Okay, I may have to do that. Middle East. What's going on here? Very unstable. Ooh, I hear the train. The train's out there somewhere. In real life, uh, not in the game. Alright, uh... I mean, I've given you basically everything. North Africa, how is it going? What's up with you guys? Cop contract renewal... Alright, 
uh, renew high yield crops. Yes. Keep that population fed. And then, no, oh, definitely not. Uh, what do you guys want? Aerosols, no. Are you complaining about anything, South Asia? Pollution? Guess give you an energy office, drop your coal consumption, maybe? Uh, here, have some free health care, like me. Permanent adaptation of floods and sea level rise. Middle East. Uh, I guess I'll give you permanent adaptation to floods too. Because floods happen in the desert, apparently. Russia. What do you guys want? What what are you complaining about? Gas drill oh the gas drilling. Yeah, I forgot. Okay, so we'll abandon that. Don't worry. We'll abandon that. And uh, you guys are about to get this stuff. Yeah, 10 years for that, 10 years for that. Uh, super smart grids. Oh, wait, we already have super smart grids? Wait, what? Oh, no. Yellow means tech leader. Okay. All right, that's, that's, not, what, uh, that's not what I thought. But, uh, okay. Russia... I wonder if I can do anything else for you. Honestly, I can't really think of anything else to do for you. And you, you guys are pretty much good. But, uh, I mean, I guess Putin will... Well, it's 2100. I doubt Putin's still alive. But if he is, and he's like a cyborg or something, he'll declare martial law again. Try to stabilize y'all. Uh, man, it has taken over 60 years to get a good transportation uh, infrastructure set up in Northern Africa. Uh, do I want to do anything else in Northern Africa? I don't think there's anything to do. Geoengineering. Middle East. I mean, you guys are very unstable, but I don't know why. I'll just launch a military occupation. There's 2100, so the U.S. is probably sending droids this time. I mean, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much wind you guys get there. I think there's some areas of wind in some places. Uh, the tensile materials might be more useful to you to get wave energy. I think, yeah, I think there's a uh, I think there's some places around you guys' shoreline where you have decent currents. Okay, what else? Japan. Uh, we'll just get you another representative, I guess. Oh, no, wait. I forgot, there's these cheap first options. There, there you go. Get some of those. 2105, all right, we're almost done. So it ends in 2120. Financial crisis is over. Okay. How's North America doing? Even? All right, you need to renew your high yield crops. Okay, we're gonna kill that oil production. Renew the high yield crops. Uh, you complained about anything? No, that was it. Oh no, unstable. You are you're already adapted to storms, like forever. You don't need anything. Stop complaining. Society. Nope, guess that's it. Latin America, how about you? What do you guys got for me? Uh, oh, I have a lot of money now. All right, we'll finish your, finish your uh, super water infrastructure and give you permanent drought adaptation. North Africa. What do you guys got? Nothing. Uh, give you some free health care. How about that? That usually quiets everybody. And we'll expand your natural gas production so that uh, we don't have a peak incident. Middle East, even. There we go. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. What do you got for me? 
Uh, Alright, I guess I'll give you the advanced turbines. I don't really know if you guys have, like, that much wind there. South Asia. What do you guys got? Any issues? Renew the high yield crops. Yes, definitely. Get another representative. Get the uh, final step to the super conservative water infrastructure. Alright, Japan. Give you some water conservation stuff. Uh, do you need anything else? Probably more flood defenses for the coastline. In fact, I'd actually, I'd say definitely more flood defenses for the coastline. Electrify your transport. Oh, and get rid of your coal industry. Because, uh, yeah, we have that uh, supply issue. Russia, you love me completely, apparently, but you're unstable. So what are you unstable about? What's going on? Just tell me, and I'll, I'll fix the problem. Uh, oh, you guys are like f five years away from each of those. About to get super smart grids next round. Okay. Well, there's, there's honestly not that much I can do for you then. I'm going to expand your coal production just to, uh, uh, just so we can reverse the global peak, but that's about it. Middle East. Japan, uh, 84 billion left. Okay. Want to do anything specific? Don't think there's anything specific to do. At least nothing left. What about Europe? Man, I'm surprised. You guys have let me tax you all this time and have never complained. Um, is there anything I haven't done for you? I, oh, wow, I didn't give you high yield crops? There you go. Okay. All right, 2110. One decade left. Energy, coal. Man, coal is still... Uh, coal is still over... Used gas production peaks again. Oil production, ooh. Okay. We can take care of this. Don't worry. We got this, guys. Banned from... Wait, Australia kicked me out? Australia never kicks me out. Okay. Uh, Alright, what do you want, Japan? What are you complaining about? Tech, that's a social. Well, actually, actually, I can read what you're complaining about. Drought, farmlands. Oh, well, okay then. Uh, drought protection, famine relief. Middle East, you got anything? Super smart grids. Yes, definitely. South Asia. Super smart grids. Anything else? Oh, we'll give you permanent heat adaptation. And uh, have you start pumping out aerosols. Oh, wait, no. You can electrify your ground transport? Finally, do it. Middle East, you're pumping out aerosols, right? Okay. Europe. How are you guys? Super smart grids. Get them. North America. You should have them already. I think, at least. Yep, there we go. Oops. Uh, expand your oil production again. Head back into the tar sands. Start digging them up. Latin America. What you got? Super smart grids. Get them. Middle East. Is there anything else I can do for you? Where the... Third gen biofuels, what does that do? What does that unlock next? Nano medicine? No, we're not even gonna have time to get to that. Uh Man, I don't think there's anything else I can do for you. Or nothing else that like is honestly gonna be meaningful in the last few years of the game. Okay then. Russia, how's it going? You're still unstable? Still? Advanced turbines, you need those. I know Russia has a uh, 
A lot of interesting windy conditions out in Siberia. You can definitely use those. Okay, Northern Africa. Oh, you guys can get them. Super smart grids. Oh, wait, I can't afford that. Um, we're gonna abandon something. We're gonna abandon uh, your free healthcare for one round. Get you some super smart grids. 2115. All right, guys, this is the last turn. Coil production on the rise. Coal production on the rise. Gas is still dropping a bit, though. Okay, come on. Last turn. What to do? Uh, okay, Latin America, you guys got all that. You essentially need nothing. Um, I'll expand your oil production anyway, because Basically, Venezuela has a few centuries worth of uh, uh, heavy oil under uh, under that Orinoco belt. Not because uh, not because it could supply the entire world's needs for centuries, but the fastest it could be extracted is like five million barrels a day, at which it would last for centuries. Um, North Africa, there, take your uh, your free healthcare back. We'll give you permanent adaptation to floods. Wait, famine relief? How are you in a famine? You have all the water management and the uh, the super yield crops. What is wrong with you people? How much are you eating? Okay, Middle East is stable. Don't think there's anything I want to do here. Russia, going to tap into some of your infinite natural gas supplies again. Oh, there's the snowplows. South Asia. Anything else we can do for South Asia? South Asia. Oh, wait. Yeah, South Asia needs to decline its coal power. I think you've already got coal-free industry, right? Yes. Japan does. All right, uh, what else can we do for Japan? Adaptation to floods and storms. Drought defenses. And I guess we'll just throw the super enhanced water infrastructure in there. Europe. Wow, I've been taxing you guys for over a hundred years. Thank you for so willingly paying me. This has allowed me to uh, save many lives. Man, there's like nothing left to do. Okay then. Here we go. This is it. This is the end. Okay. Well, that majorly took care of the uh, the supply problem. Turtles went extinct. China lets me in again. Gas production is okay now. All right. So basically, through the whole game, we kept the Earth's population uh, not entirely by our own doing, but we kept it between eight and nine billion. Banned from Southern Africa. India still in civil war. China in civil war. Everybody hates me. Okay. Oh, oh, look, a happy dolphin. Well, I got us to 2120. And uh, I, civilization is intact, somewhat. So there you go. There's a full playthrough of Fate of the World in fuel crisis mode. The best way I, uh, the best way I know how to take care of civilization. But I will see everybody around next time. Feel free to check out any of my other videos. I have tons of them, aviation, natural resources, games, cool science and tech updates. Also links on my channel and in the description to my Twitter page and my Patreon. Oh, and my photography page. And even to some of the items on my online store. See ya.